Hello everybody, this is Namanjain and welcome back to the series of tutorials where you're gonna learn how to make a role-playing game. So last time we learned how to make a health bar, a very ugly looking health bar, in, uh, which we will improve in the future actually. But for today we're gonna learn how to make a rotatable camera. So if you've played, uh, for example, RuneScape, you, uh, you, you, you might have known that um, it is uh, 2.5D, so it actually is a 3D game, but you look at it from an isometric view, or like Diablo. But uh, in RuneScape, you can actually rotate the camera around your character, which I really liked a lot, because then you could see the game from many perspectives, whereas in Diablo, a uh, game like Diablo, you could only see it from one angle, which was a little bit annoying. So let's go ahead and start making this uh, camera view. So first of all, if you're in the 2D mode, you'll want to click on this button over here, this little button that says 2D and get out of the 2D mode. And second, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our main camera and add a component called camera follow. So we're going to make a new script called camera follow and create an add. And now what we're going to do is we want basically we want our camera to move along with the player at any given moment. So let's go ahead and script that. Um, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to go to our camera follow. And the first thing we need is a target. So we're going to have a transform target. And this is the target that the camera will follow. So we'll add a comment saying the camera will follow this target. So now the first step to uh, this is that the camera must always be looking towards the target because then we cannot see the target if that makes sense. For example, if our camera is following the player but is looking at another direction, then that is just pointless. It does not make any sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to call our own transform. So we're going to say transform with a small t dot um, look at. And then we're going to say look at the target dot position. So we're going to say that, okay, we need to look at the target's position at all moments because we're calling it at update. An update is run every 60 times a second or depending on how fast your computer is. And it actually doesn't work. And the reason is because our transform over here is null. Our target is null. So we're going to go to our skeleton dark. I'm just going to name it player just so that it's a little easier. And we're going to drag the player into the target. And now once we play, you'll see that our camera actually always looks towards the player. It's not exactly what we want, but it is one step ahead. So now next what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to introduce a concept, uh, uh, something called offset. So what we're going to say is uh, there's going to be a specific distance between our camera and the player. And the camera will always maintain that distance. So if you say the camera has to be 20 units away from the player, it will always be 20 units away from the player. And that is how we're going to program this uh, follow script. So we're going to say public um, float off set x. And I'm going to explain uh, what we're going to do in just a moment. Public float off set y. Is that actually, um, actually it doesn't, what am I doing? It doesn't really matter. So we're going to say what essentially is going to happen is the camera is going to be these many units away from the player. So for example, if I say X is equal to 10, Y is equal to 10 and Z is equal to 10, this means that the x is going the camera is going to be 10 units away from the player in the x axis and this means that the player is going to be ten, the camera is going to be 10 units away in the y axis and the camera is going to be away from the player in the z axis by 10 units if that makes sense at all now it, if it does not make sense don't worry once we start coding the logic it's going to be much more obvious so we're going to say um, float x. So we're going to say float camera x because this is going to be the position of the camera is equal to target dot position dot x plus offset x. So do you see what we're doing over here? We're saying the position of the 
the the the x position of the x is the target position's x plus the offset. So we're setting a distance away from uh away from the player. Camera y is equal to target dot position dot y plus offset y. And we're gonna do the same thing for set. And now, last and uh, and in the last um, line, what we're gonna do is we actually have to set the position of the transform, because here we're just creating variables and literally doing nothing with it. Because now, if you just play, for example, we created the variables, but if we actually play it, we're not gonna see anything. Uh, the camera is actually not gonna move with the player. So what we're going to do is, we're going to say transform, um, dot position is equal to new vector, or we could say dot set, uh, parent no position dot set, okay let's do that, so we're going to set the position so we're going to set it by camera x, camera y, and camera z. So now we're actually setting the position of the camera. And for now it's going to be 10, 10, 10, which is actually, you're going to see it's going to be a little awkward now. So as you can see, it actually, um, it actually still doesn't move yet, which is a little weird. Maybe we should set it to new vector, new vector. Let's try that. Okay, there we go. Now you're going to see that we have, uh, it's a little weird now, but it's actually following our player in a very weird angle. That's very fixable actually. So in our, um, in our, um, uh, parameters over here, offset of uh, x and offset, we're just going to make them to zero and play around, play uh, play with them a little bit. So we're going to set z to negative 20 and we're going to set y to 15. And let's see if that works. Um, we're going to set, let's set that to and, oops, 15. There we go. Okay, I like that quite a lot actually. So if you set offset y to 20, and offset z to negative 15, you should get uh, something that looks like this. And it is actually, it, and you can change uh, the variables as you want to, as you wish to make it closer. So if you want to make it closer, set offset y to 15 and offset z to 10, and it's going to be a little closer. But I personally like to have it as 20 and negative 15. So there we go, we have a top-down camera, uh, whoops, did not change the x to 0. So we have a top-down uh, camera over here. Now the, our next uh, difficulty is going to be to make it a rotatable camera because now we only look at it from one angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our script over here and we're going to add additional, um, additional variables and we're going to have, a f we're going to have a float called a public float angle which is going to be set to zero. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go over here and we're going to say if um, input dot get key and then we're going to say key code dot a. So what that means is that if we, whenever we press the key a, we're going to increase decrease the angle. By um, we're gonna make a new variable called public float rotational speed, and we're gonna set it to 100 for now, or 150, and we're gonna say angle minus equals rotational speed times time dot delta time. So this is how fast we're gonna change the angle, and this minus this essentially wait we're gonna do this. So this means that, okay, we're going to reduce, angle is equal to angle minus this value. So we're actually, re we're reducing our angle. Else if, whoops. 
if we press the D button, angle is equal to angle. Uh, plus this so we're gonna make it to plus So we increase our angle whenever we press the D and decrease our angle whenever we press the A and now You might be you might ask the question what angle is so once we play over here When we press D our angle is going to be the pos angle at which we look at the player so for example if our camera is over here suppose and our um, let me try and get a good view of, of this. So currently you're going to see that our camera is, if I just bring it down over here, you're going to see that the angle between the camera and the player is zero over here because it is just behind the player. As you can see over here. But once we move the camera, once we rotate the camera, we want our camera to go a little bit to the right and a little bit to the forward and look towards the player so it's just gonna look towards the player and that's gonna happen automatically and this angle you see over here this difference in angle from here to here is the is the angle that we are recording so that is the angle we are recording over here and we need to actually apply that angle to move our camera so since we are working with circles, because essentially what we're doing is our camera is moving around the player in circles and our player is the center of the circle and we are rotating on the circumference of the circle. So we're going to have a public float radius. Okay. And we're going to set this to 10. And now we're going to use a little bit of math. Now don't be intimidated if you don't like math or don't understand, but just copy as I do. So what we're going to do is we're going to say target.position.x plus radius times math f dot cost of angle. And we're going to do the same thing with uh, z and I'll explain what is happening over here. If you have done some math before in high school, you might have learned that uh, in the circle, the x component of the axis is actually equivalent to the radius times cos theta. So, so if in math school, if you have a circle, um, the x uh, axis of the circle, so the X uh, component is always equal to cos uh, theta. I don't know how to put in theta in this keyboard times the radius, and y is equal to sine theta times radius. And that is the exact same formula we're using over here. So we're saying radius times cos of angle and radius times sine of angle in case it's said over here but it doesn't really matter because it's on the uh, circles x and z share the same circle but it's not very important to know all you need to remember is do as I did over here and we are going to go back and we're actually going to change our rate our radius is 10 and we actually don't need need the x offset set and offset x because we're using radius instead and we can actually name this height since the y-axis is the height and it makes it just makes more sense to name it height it just happened okay cool we're gonna go and play whoops uh, okay um um, we're going to change our height to 20 first of all and we're going to change our rotational speed to 1 and our angle is going to be 0 and we're actually going to go back over here and and since our transform that look at position is at the top we actually we actually want to put this at the very bottom because what what is going to happen is we're going to do all our calculations and set our rotation 
uh, our our values, our x and z values, and after we do all the calculation, we want to look at the at the target. And so we're going to go back. As I said, height is twenty, radius is ten, angle is zero, and the speed is one. We are going to go ahead, and we're going to just play around. And as you can see, we actually have a rotatable camera over here. Um, you can change it as you can change the speed as as you want to. You can change the rotational speed to ten, and it'll be faster. And um, however you want to. So there you go, guys. We have a rotatable top-down uh, role-playing game camera. And uh, thank you very much. If you like the video, please subscribe. Please like and share and comment. It helps me and it helps everybody you share too. And if you know anybody who would like to learn how to make a role-playing game, please let them know about the series. And bye-bye, guys.